Hello everyone. Today we, the members of group 7, will be presenting a short video on the working of Polaroid camera. But before that, let's talk about cameras in general. With the invention of camera, photography came into existence. Photography has come a long way in its relative short history. All this started with the invention of first camera. In almost 200 years, the camera developed from a plain box with a hole that captured blurry images to high-tech DSLRs and smartphones that are capable enough to take sharp images. Polaroid camera, also known as instant camera, is a camera which uses self-developed film to create a chemically developed print shortly after taking picture. As the name suggests, one can obtain a printed version of the image captured in an instant. So, without wasting any more time, let's learn about the brief history, the working and the impact of Polaroid cameras in our life. By making it possible for the photographer to observe his work and his subject matter simultaneously and by removing most of the manipulative barriers between the photographer and the photograph, it is hoped that many of the satisfaction of working of early arts can be brought to a new group of photographs. This was the thought of Edwin Land, American scientist and inventor known as the co-founder of Polaroid Corporation. In the year 1948, Edwin Land invented the first Polaroid camera called as Model 95, which took over the market like a storm. It was something new, even though the price was $90 within a few minutes of the camera was out of the stock. The model 95 was weighing around 4 pounds and 2 ounces. It featured a 3 element 135mm f11 lens and a shutter speed from 18 to 168 of a second. In the year 1972, one of the most famous Polaroid camera was launched, SX70. Edwin Land clicked 5 pictures within 10 seconds. This was something new. The cost of the camera was $180, but still by 1974, 7 lakhs of them were sold. Thank you. All analog cameras function roughly in the same way. When you snap a shot, the camera aperture opens briefly to let in the pattern of light reflected from the photographed object. The camera lens's rounded shape takes light going in all directions and reflects it back onto the camera in a single direction towards the film. When the shutter opens, this reflected pattern of light hits the film, which is covered in three layers of silver compounds, each of which absorbs a different primary hue of light, red, blue or green. The instant photography of Polaroid cameras is made possible by chemical reactions under the surface of silver compounds of the negatives. These chemical layers, the developer layer, image layer, timing layer and acid layer, react in the presence of a reagent, the chemical that sets off the reaction to produce the colors captured in silver layers of the negative. Think of the silver layers as holding the light patterns. While the reacting chemicals permanently turn the color of the light reflected on the negative. When the rollers eject the photo, they also press down to release the reagent chemical held in the white borders of the negative. As the reagent covers the silver surface, it provokes the chemical reaction that produces the image. It takes the picture a short while to fully develop, but the negative slowly turns from gray to a color photograph as the colors set. Contrary to popular wisdom, the Polaroid company actually advises the consumers against shaking their pictures during this process. One of the coolest things about instant photography 
watching the image slowly come together is caused by this final chemical reaction the image is already fully developed underneath but the opacifiers clearing up creates the illusion that it is forming right before your eyes and today in the era of the smartphone where one can carry thousands of photos literally inside that device and see them whenever they wish has caused the instant cameras like polaroid to almost disappear but it will always stay one of the best uses of optics chemistry and mechanics to make analog cameras work at their fullest potential thank you